first step is you take this the stock one off. And in your case, you have the uh, the Reverend Pink Daddy version with the carbon fiber cover. You only have to remove the belly pan. You don't, or the the lower fairing. You don't have to remove the mid fairing. If you remove just the one screw, it gives you enough play, as you can see, to get in and out of that one, the one screw there. Normally, I don't ever wear gloves, but I'm not getting singed with hot oil. <laughs> If it, if it does come out. Now on mine, these had two, two of these, two washers for each, uh, for each screw that was attached to the carbon fiber and then none uh, anywhere else. So I did not use washers when I put this back together. And the washers were behind the carbon fiber. Boy, this thing's still smoking hot. Oh, you went down. <laughs> I figured as much you as a muffler. You didn't tell me this bike had been wrecked. <laughs> I didn't know it until I picked it up. And I saw the scratch on the muffler, and I figured that's why he had the cover. I figured he had, hmm. figured he had dropped it. So we have different screw sizes here. I didn't notice that when I did mine either. So the top ones appear to be shorter. three screws out which I believe are tens
just here is the, uh, the springs and then in the very bottom of the pressure plate there are three steel shims that the uh, springs ride on. That you put on the bottom of your your new one so that way it doesn't get chewed up. These screws are super long. That's when they thread it all the way. Which means that if you're one of the guys that has problems seating the pressure plate, like I did on the previous install, I can move this out of the way now. I'm gonna move this thing. Since we are looking for it. first came out, you had to buy the little additional screen thing and then it killed your battery twice as fast. Now, I did manage to keep mine in the same positions. Same with the triangle. I'm doing it as if that way. So now, the clutch plate comes right out. And that, my friend, is the little pain in the ass one right there. look let me go grab my pick so when you look you see how you have your teeth here and all the steel plates except for this first one these teeth are not lining up to this they're lining up to the teeth that are on the back of your clutch plate so this has already dropped just a tiny bit when you go to put the new clutch plate on the pressure plate it'll seat itself against that metal and feel like it's seated when it's actually not you have to crawl underneath and push it up from the bottom here and that will allow it to seat properly. But, all right, so now what we need is the wood box. I'm gonna pause this video. It stops at three gig each time anyways. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, do you have a... Uh, do you have a, uh, yeah, do you have a, uh, scale or anything? No. Oh. Not anything that's going to be that precise, so you brought the house. You don't have a drug dealer scale? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> a kitchen scale that weigh your flour? <laughs> uh, I know some people, they like to go in and say, oh, look, so you can see that this one's, uh, 3.2 ounces, oh, yeah. new one weighs. Right. You probably do a cutscene to, like, the... Stats off the way <laughs> off the website. Yeah. I'm not going at you. Never know, man. There's somebody, somebody out there who wants to know these things. So if you look in here, you have. I was talking about the washers. Okay. So there 
there's one. These get transferred over to the new clutch plate. Or the pressure plate, not the clutch plate. It's actually a pressure plate. And then now you have to bust out this bearing and this pole or post get transferred over to the new pressure plate. So you end up having to have a bearing race kit. That's what I went out and bought. Or uh, an arbor press, yeah. Or an arbor press if you have a, if you have somebody that has one of those. <laughs> And then my advice. I'll come back. Bearings. Oh, bearings yeah. and clutches and pressure plates. Bearings on Jamie's car. You have fun with that. I've got a race tool you I got a whole kit. Alright. I'll come back and buy your uh air gun. Okay. That's it. Oh, you want that thing? Okay. Is he just your neighbor? Huh? He's your neighbor? Yeah, he's my neighbor down the street. Oh. So, is that being still recorded? Okay, yep. so I take this and I toss it in the freezer. Oh, okay. Because it'll cause it to shrink. All right, do you want me to follow you to the freezer? Yeah. Get a cutscene of you just throwing yeah, it in there? See, or be putting it in the freezer? Yeah, just throwing it in there. <laughs> <laughs> you want everybody to see my frozen waffles and my chicken pot pies? Yeah, say, say, now you store it between the chicken. <laughs> you gotta have like. Think I'm lying, dude. <laughs> you gotta go in with the nuggets and the Marie Calendar chicken pot pies and the frozen pizzas. <laughs> okay, so, so now we unpack all that other crap because we have to put together the clutch cover. Is actually two pieces. For you to do like your uh, typical your unboxing video. Your typical porn shot. We'll do it over here by the door. <laughs> your unboxing video. Ready to kick off. <laughs> oh, pretty. All right. So this thing, we got to drop these into there. And there is no, there's no right or wrong way to do this. They're equal size. You just drop them in and they will seat in there just like so and what this is preventing is from your steel springs from rubbing against your aluminum pressure plate and making all that pretty red stuff in there get all flaked off inside your clutch area your clutch basket all right so there's that this pretty doohickey comes with this this is your window screen. This is the part that mounts to the motorcycle itself. And then the screws to attach it. still let you peel all that stuff off of that so I'm gonna put that thing on a tripod and then you're gonna have to take the clear crap off of that mm -hmm. while I take this you always want to lube your gasket you don't ever want to put two pieces of metal together with a completely dry gasket so the easiest thing to do is put a little WD-40 Doing that in my garage. And just, just put it on your hands. And that's it. You want me to go ahead and peel this now or you want to wait till. Yeah, uh, go ahead. We're about to do it, dude. It. We're doing it to it right now. Here you go. Away. So 
you can see that it's a huge pain in the ass taking all the clear off of that. Just drop it on top. Yep, just set it right on top of the. Uh, good. Pull it. You're not going to see any of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you don't want any of the paper still being on there. And then the other thing is, is you want to line up. This is the top. So when you turn this, you want this part that says Duca Bike to be on the top. Pop that in there. And then. Special parts piece to be in the same place. I'm gonna point out the Duke bike logo. Well, what you're doing is you're aligning. So this is gonna line up on them two bolts. This will be dead center in your case. star pattern once you get them snugged up. So you get them initially snug and they're between 11 or uh, 10 and 12 newton meters is the torque specs on these. set for 11 pounds because the specs are 10 to 12. set all right now from here we need to knock that bearing back into that and for that i can't use the uh the race punch i have to use a deep socket because i left the uh post still on is the post supposed to come off There's no difference between using a socket and using the, uh, you're going on the outside of the race. So realistically, I bought that tool and probably could have just used this instead. <laughs> Put that into there. 
so you want a socket at the same size as the outer race in this case I think it's a 7 8 <laughs> which it is now keep in mind I froze the bearing for the last 20 minutes or so so it's about as small as it's going to get and you can see there's no space in between you're looking right here to make sure that the bearing is seated all the way against this and then I will take this bearing tool and pound this to make sure that this is fully seated also. There you go. Zing, zing. And you can see all of these things fell out when I did all that. So. You don't want to lose those. Technically, you shouldn't have to worry about that. I'm just anal. being my normal anal self. spring retainer comes with its own screws so you don't need the screws that came with the original at the factory they're a lot nicer than the factory ones to be honest and they'll be countersunk into this spring retainer You're saying something about how on yours you didn't you manage to not move the clutch, like spin it, or what do you mean? So, if if that metal, if the metal portion of the clutch, that little plate there, isn't seated properly on these teeth, your clutch will not squeeze. Oh, okay. It'll be flat out jammed up in there. See, like right now. That feels seated, right? You mm -hmm. feel it. Yeah. Does that feel like it's seated in there and like it's yeah. caught? Yeah. Well, it's not. <laughs> I can tell you right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and lay down. And so, you can see right between, right between these. So, these are your clutch plates right here. The steel plate is right behind that and I'm just going to push it up just a little bit. straight down through the plate so it looks like they're all they're not. on. See how far down that thing is? Hold 
can't fall off. It doesn't matter which tooth it's on, right? Nope. These only go on one way. The biggest thing is, is that this, the last steel one, needs to be that one. The clutch, the clutch portion can be anywhere. Letting me move it around so I know it's not seated. Dang it. Oh man, playing with this thing. That's gonna kill it until it's me. You wanna try it? Yeah. There's no visual cue. Nope, there's none. So you. Pretty much. Right here, I can show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So when yeah, you take this, it. you take this one off. And so, this, while it appears like it's supposed to be in with these teeth, mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with it. Take that pick and pry it off of there. this like this mm -hmm. see I was so, gonna spin it even just a little bit yeah you got to make sure that it's aligned with the teeth you know what I wonder what if you could just stick it through this hole right here you be able to pick the tooth like that you might be able to no because the yeah, you might be able to or you pre see it there Should we film this part just in case? Oh, it's not filming? No, no, well, I mean, point it at the camera. So you could say, hey, you know, we're going to try out. All right, so there's a little pilot hole right here. We're going to take the pick and leave it in there. I'm trying to hold that now. Oh. There's a bunch of hair in there. Let's get it out. A bunch of like, dog hair or something. Here, but All I right. might be able to get through the hole. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see it right here. Okay, up. There. Should be right there. Oh, the whole thing's not in. Oh, this tooth should be over here with the rest of it. No. Oh, yeah, maybe. That's it. And the only way you can tell that you did it. Oh, oh there you go. And it is set. All, All right. right. So, so you want to explain real quick what we did? So what we did is we took a pick and we stuck it in the hole of the uh, Duca bike pressure plate. And instead of trying to manipulate the plate from the bottom in between the clutch plates, we manipulated it in these holes to kind of move it where we needed it. Now, how do you know if it's set? because you'll see that it has compression in it now and you can actually turn it. You see how the clutch is actually turning right now? So your bike's in neutral for sure because it's letting me turn this. I just want to make sure you explained it to the viewers. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw it as soon as it went in, you were like, it was really obvious. But you can see how it felt like it was seated before too, even though it wasn't.
there's that one guy who's completely off camera that you never see his face. <laughs> is that what you're trying to do, or are you? Are you the, uh, is it me or is it you? Or am I the off camera guy or are you the off camera guy? You're the spokesperson. But you're saying there's that, who, who's that one guy? You're like, oh yeah. Oh, you're, you're talking about Jared? Him. Oh, you're talking about Blockhead. Blockhead, yeah. Yeah, Blockhead's never on camera. Oh, these are fives. I wonder how the French might find an outfit. putting it on and you don't realize that it's not seated you go through this portion of the install 15 times which is what I did it was to the point where I could see the thread shavings come <laughs> from the screws <laughs> settings for these. I want to say they're 12 also, but they may be 22. torque wrench if you don't know how to use a torque wrench you shouldn't be doing this <laughs> so you can see there's newton meters on that little slide there and you go to where the bar hits 10 and then you set it for zero on this so if you can scroll back you can see where it says 10.7 so i'm right about at 10 right there or so and then this seats it in place and then you put it in the screw and you Tighten it till it clicks. That's that. Okay. Now the fun part. me off.
So if you want a 10 pounds, if you not go up to the zero, that's 10.7, yeah? Yep. So you back off seven on this counter. Mm -hmm. And then you're at? 10. Yeah, that's what throws me off is that the numbers aren't even. All right, we got it now. Oh, it is so dirty. Okay, we gotta show this part too. <laughs> so I'm not to throw that away, they got to read it. Yeah, you're gonna need your original, uh, <laughs> your original gasket. Yours is kind of dirty, man. Kind of sooty too. I guess you think those were the ones on the uh I think so. They're the, they're the ones on the clutch cover. I've got three long ones. And three short ones. I'm assuming the three long attention. ones were on the bottom. That's a safe assumption. Oh shit, should I clean the inside? Or no? No. It'll good. probably those hairs will burn off, yeah? Yeah. Give your clutch a tug. Let's make sure it actually works. Ah, you're good. You like a glove. And when it didn't seat, nothing would move. Right? Yep. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to squeeze the clutch.
they're also 10 to 12. So we're going right in the middle with them. done. All that's left is reassembly, which we don't really need to videotape, I would imagine. Let's start this pig up. Right at it. It's right in there. 